Trigonometry. Trigonometric ratio. Trigonometric ratio. Good word. I can solve trigonometric ratio. All right. So, what is trigonometry called? Study of triangles. All right. What is a trigonometric? What is a trigonometric ratio, Aiden? The length of two sides of a right angle. Of a right triangle. Of a right triangle. Um, adjacent hypotenuse. Hopefully, you know what they mean. Five, six, and seven. Very important. If you're going to do trig, sine, cosine, tangent. Sine would be opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine would be adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent would be opposite over adjacent. And what is the key to remembering that, or what is the acronym to remember um, which is which, everybody? SOKOTOA. So S-O-H, so, sine, opposite hypotenuse. Ka, cosine, adjacent hypotenuse. TOA, tangent, opposite adjacent. And they're all listed out for you in your notes and also right here. All right, number nine. If angle A is our starting point, what is opposite angle A? Everybody. Side B, right? What is adjacent to angle A? Side A. Side A. And then what is the hypotenuse for any of the three angles? C is the hypotenuse. Okay. Um, just for kicks and giggles, what is opposite angle C? Side A. What is the hypotenuse for angle C? Side C, as it is for everything. And what is the adjacent for angle C? Side B. Okay, so just practicing on what our sides are when they correspond to adjacent, hypotenuse, and opposite. Okay, uh, this one, the sine of C degrees. So here is angle C. What is the sine of C degrees? Sine would be so, S-O-H. Sine would be opposite over hypotenuse, right? Those are abbreviations. So what is opposite angle C? A. What is hypotenuse? C. So the sine of angle C would be side A over side C. Good point? We did a couple more. Cosine of C, tangent of C. I'm going to skip over that. Here is where we got into the real deal, sort of. Number 11. I asked you what is the sine of A. Sine of A would be 12. Because again, sine would be opposite over hypotenuse. So we've got 12 over 20. The ratio for A would be 3 over 5. Right? Yes, no? Okay. 3 over 5.6. So whatever that equates to. We're not going to work on going that way. Um, here we go. Number 12. What is the length of W? This is the type of problem you're going to be solving for your homework. What is the length of W? We do not know W. We know that we have x, we know that we have a side of 10, we know we've got a 40, 50, and 90 right angle, right? If you type into your calculator 40 degrees and hit the sign button, what do you get? 6,400. So we know that the ratio of two sides of a 40 degree angle when working with the sign is going to be 0.64. Yes, no? So, what we did is we took 40 degrees. We're going to use 40 degrees, and we're going to solve for W. Because we know that sine would be opposite, which would be, what? 10. And adjacent would be, I'm sorry, not adjacent. Hypotenuse would be W. Okay? So, we, on the left side, gave ourselves sine of 40 is equal to 10 over W, and set both up as fractions. Remember, sine would be opposite over hypotenuse, right? And then you do what you do. You solve for W. We did cross products, divided by the sine of 40, and divided by the sine of 40 was 15.56. Yes, no? Okay, so we now know that W is 15.56. So what is 10 divided by 15.56? What is 10 Divided by 15.56, you guys. It should be 6,400 because we know that any sine of 40 degrees, the ratio from the opposite to the hypotenuse is going to be 6,400. Right? We also did tangent. I'm going to skip over tangent. And then I'm going to skip over number 13, but we did another problem with number 13 in which we solve for our x, our missing side. Solving for whatever we have information to solve for. 
Any questions before I turn it off?